Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Dynamo code block and reverse engineering code blocks in Dynamo in Revit. So let's open a new file. I want to go with default metric. Uh, I usually prefer to go with three decimal places and meters for the times I work with Dynamo. I'm going to open Dynamo from Manage. Uh, let's open a new file. Uh, so basically, if you double click on the screen, it's going to bring a code block. You can assign numbers in code block, but it does more than that. So uh, let's say if I want to just bring a point here, I want to type point on the screen, point by coordinates, right? And uh, maybe I'm interested to see how this point works as a code, right? So I want to actually control C and control V copy and paste this uh, code. And uh, when the node is selected, right click and select node to code. So now we see basically if we go with point equals point by coordinate zero 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 is going to create a point. I want to hide this. So this is how the point node works and this is how the code block works. So in that case it means if you just go with like point uh, like 2 equals point which is going to be active here dot by coordinates and you put any three numbers let's say 3 4 5 is going to create a point over there as 3 4 5 now let's see how it works if we have a range of points, right? So I want to have a point. Uh, how about I hide this too? And uh, this time I want to bring a sequence and uh, add it to the point so I have a set of points. So, so this sequence, let's say it goes to X, so we have 10 points here now. Right. So how about I copy and paste this again, control C, control V, and uh, when these two nodes are selected, right click and go with node to code. So this time you see uh, it's going with a set of numbers, which is in this case 0 to 10. Every one step, the reason you see this one here is that the step size is on 1 and I didn't change it. Uh, and then it goes uh, like this, right? So let me hide this and hide this. So if I want to make a set of points using just one code block, I can say point one uh, will equal, actually, let me go with point, point uh, two equals uh, point dot by coordinates uh, and I want to directly put 0 to let's say 10 or 9 so it's going to be 10 points 0 0 I forgot to close the parentheses here there we go so uh, you can actually put this part in the parentheses itself and it's going to go with uh, actually just one number like this uh, I can also do this. I can say it's going to be between 0 to, let's say, i. And this is orange. It's not red. When something is red like this, it means that this is wrong. So you have made a mistake. In this case, you should like close the parentheses. But when something is orange, a code block is orange, it means that it just needs an input, which is null in this case. So let's say if I say 8 points, and uh, attach it to i, it's going to create 8 points uh, for me here, right? Okay, so let me hide this. So far I showed you how one point works as a code block, how a linear set of points work, so it could be either like this or it could be like this. I want to put this here. I want to also pre uh, turn off the preview here. I want to create a group, rename it as linear points. 
right now let's make it a bit more interesting let's say I have a code black and let's say I want to say like uh, point 0.3 it could be point 0.1 it doesn't matter or uh, any number equals uh, point by coordinates which is this one dot by coordinates and let's say this time I want to go with uh, 0 to I as well as 0 to J and 0 for the Z so basically when you put two points here like this example it means that it goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 up to 10 or in this case up to I or up to J so as you see this is again orange which means uh, the inputs are um, empty it's null so I can bring a code block like that one or I can bring a number slider I'll bring a number slider to show that these also work with number sliders I'll go with one let's say it's gonna be between two to ten points here and two to two, ten points here as well I'm gonna connect these two to I and J and now we have actually a number of points right so now next thing I want to do I want to have a grid of points right how does it work uh, basically if you want to have a grid if you have a point uh, you have one or two sequences here I want to go with sequence maybe even the same one that let's say goes to X and Z uh, if I go with like um, lacing and cross product is going to make a grid right so uh, let me move this down move this up but how that uh, lacing thing the cross product how does it show in the node in the code block here so I want to go with control C control V here I want to hide this and I want to select these two right click on the canvas not on this but on the canvas and go with node to code so how about I hide this one I want to group this as a um, grid of points or grid points and I want to see how I can change my code here so instead of having uh, a linear diagonal set of points I would actually have them in um, a grid set of points uh, so in this case if I just add uh, the angle bracket put one here and put two after J is still not gonna give me a grid why not because uh, there is a list here and T1 is a list that goes there so 0 to I and 0 to J has to be a list so I need two lists here see what happens if I actually uh, lock this or pin this there are three levels so it's a list inside a list in order to do that 0 to I just repre represents a number so I need to put a bracket here so now it represents a list and I could also do that for J so this is now if I like this one as well it's actually L3 L2 L1 before when we had 0 to I here it was actually only L2 L1 so there were two levels in order to have a grid we need three levels like this right and now it's 0 to 1 0 to J so this is how you can create a grid using a code block so this is a grid set of points and of course if you want to get rid of list within a list you can just flatten it it just works like a list if you connect it here it's now L2 L1 rather than L3 L2 L1 uh, so this item on the right side works instead of that this one or these two together work instead of linear points and this code block 
or these three together work instead of a set of uh, grid points. Uh, so this is how you can reverse engineering different nodes. Maybe if your files become more complicated, uh, using code blocks might be uh, somehow a way to make a shortcut or